up? It's your boy D coming back at you with another video. Now in this video today, we're going to talk about how to become good then great at fighting games. In this video, I got some key topics that I want to discuss with you on how to become to that elite level in fighting games. And you can do this within six months to probably a year. You will become stellar at any type of fighting game that you choose. I almost guarantee it if you follow my simple advice. So without further ado, let's get into the shit. Now this first point I want to start off is, this point is called having a knack for the fighting games. Now what I mean by having the knack for fighting games, it's just basically having a natural understanding for the fighting games. There are a lot of YouTubers and gamers out there that have that natural understanding for the fighting games. Uh, guys like Maximilian Dude is one of them, uh, the great Goichi, uh, the great Gentleman Thief, and you got Demetrius. These, these names that I've mentioned have a natural understanding for the fighting games. And what I mean by that is, they can understand the fighting game by ears, eyes, and feel. But, still, even if you got the natural instinct for the fighting games, you can still work up your game to a razor sharp, razor sharp edge by going by these points that I'm about to give you, and we're going to get into those next points right now. But having a natural understanding or knack for the game will definitely help you if you get into fighting games. Now, as I said before, some, most people don't have that. It has to get worked on through time. But with my points I'm about to give you, we're going to work on that. Having excellent basic fundamentals is very key to becoming a great fighting game player. The point of having great, excellent, basic fundamentals is, once you work on these in tutorial mode and the training mode, basic fundamentals help you become a better thinker in the fighting game, of course, but it also helps you become a better, faster thinker. The more you work on your fundamentals, the more you perfect your fundamentals, the faster your thought process is going to be when you work on everything else and when you get into an actual match in a fighting game. Basic fundamentals key ingredient to becoming a great fighting game player. Frame study is very important in fighting games. Most fighting games, when you have a training mode and go to the training mode, you'll have a frame grid. You pick the character of your choosing, you see its move list, you also see his or hers frames and property damage. This right here will help you become better in the fighting games because when you study the character's frames, get it down to a T, it can help you make less mistakes, it can also improve your defense, and you can also study other characters' frame sets, maybe they, you know characters you mostly see on a regular day at ranked matches, or characters that you see in tournaments. Frame study definitely helps for that, especially if you want to go to tournaments, that's where frame study can really be important. When you get the hang of frame study, it will become, it make you become a sharper fighting game player. Now, when you do frame study, you know, depending on who you are, it may be something that you kind of got to, you know, have your own kind of way of doing it, or you can do it with friends. It doesn't really matter. There's no right or wrong way of doing it. But once you get the hang of frame study, frame study can be a great advantage when you want to become great and want to become elite at fighting games. Now, the next step is developing your own style. One of the fun and most exciting thing about fighting game communities is style of play. We all have a different style of play and we all like to flare it up and like to flash it up how we want it to look or how we want to go up against with our opponent. When you come across your opponent, he's going to have his different style, she's going to have her different style, you're going to have your different style. That's what it's all about. You develop a style and don't let nobody tell you different on how to develop your own style. Anybody can teach you how to win, but when it comes to creating your own style, it's about how you want to win. Creating a structure is kind of different from creating your own style. Now the difference is creating your own style is kind of like a signature. Creating your own structure, well that's kind of like, you know, you go to the training mode and you look at your character's move list. This is where you kind of scope out and see what kind of moves are comfortable for you or what kind of moves can set you up 
for big combo damage against your opponent, things like that. That's the real difference in creating a structure. You want to have a structure when you get better at a certain character, so that way when you get into any fighting game or get into any fighting game match, you will have that structure and you'll be super confident going into the match because you already know what set of moves that you like to do, you know how your combo game is, and then on top of that, say for instance if you're at a tournament, stuff like that, having a good structure can trap it. So having a good structure, basically like, you know, uh, say for instance, uh, you go to the dojo and there's just this certain move, kind of like a launcher move to say at least. And you want to know how to get that launcher move off. Well, you know, that character's probably got something in his or her move set that can set up for that launcher, or his or her move set that can either set up for another big move for another big massive combo. So, creating a structure is always important because number one, if you're going to tournaments, that structure is going to travel with you. And number two, you create the structure and perfect your craft. You will go into any match comfortable thinking and knowing that you're going to win and pull it out. Training with other great players is another good way to become better at the fighting games or the fighting game of your choosing. The reason why this is such a good idea is because if those players that you train with are in the top 10, top 5 of their fighting game communities, it's going to help you to become a much sharper and much better fighting game player and it's also going to get you motivated to either get on their level or possibly even surpass them one day once you get there. So training with other friends in the community is always a plus whenever you get the time. Hit somebody up on Xbox Live, hit somebody up on PSN, have them, you know, a little private match with another great player, you know, do some sparring. Don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid to send messages to other great players. Hey, what, 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 what are they going to say? You know, they're either going to say yeah or going to say no. And those other great players are always looking to get better as well. They're always looking to have other styles. So training with great players is always going to be a great thing if you want to become better at fighting games. Because this is going to help you get, stay motivated. It's going to help you get sharper. And it's going to help you continue to play and get better at your character. And then also, depending on what character they have, you can also learn in real time with that character that they're choosing as well. So, with that being said, training with other great players, another excellent point that you can use to become good and great to elite in fighting games. This next step in becoming better at a fighting game, become one with your character. When you pick up and main a character, make that character a part of you. Make that character adopt your personality. And what I mean by that is, when an opponent comes up against you, he or she is going to know, even though that the character that you use is going to be used by 50 other people, when they come across that character and they see your gamer tag, they're going to know the style and the personality of that character through you. Bond with your character, know that character inside out, so when opponents come up against you, they're going to know what they're going to be in for with the character, even though somebody else may use your character, but they're going to know something different when they come up against your particular character. Bond with your character. Very important and it's very underrated. And last but not least, just win, baby. Just win. Now, I'm not talking about just pick up a joystick and just start mashing on the buttons like a blind crazy person just to get a cheap victory. What I mean is, just go by the steps that I've showed you, perfect everything to the fullest, and let those W's rack up. Once you see those W's rack up, it's going to heighten your determination, and it's going to make your motivation better. And can't nobody tell you you're doing something wrong because you're getting the W's. So once those W's keep on coming, that determination going to keep on rocking, and keep on going by those steps, keep winning. That's how you're going to become better at the fighting game. So those are the keys that I have for you in becoming an elite player in the fighting game community. Now, as I stated earlier in the video, I understand that there are a lot of, a lot of videos out there explaining this topic, but these points that I've shown you in this video are genuine in helping you becoming elite and great at a fighting game. You go by these steps that I've shown you, take about a good six months, guarantee you you're going to see the results. Like the video if you're feeling it, 
comment down below. Subscribe if you want your boy in your life. I'm Demetrius. Peace.